few weeks ago on the vlog, I said that I had a goal to get to know a CEO of an invoicing company here in Israel because I felt that their business is not very far from Prospero and that I can learn from them because I really look up to this company. And funnily enough, when I said this out loud on the vlog, turns out that the product designer of this company watches the vlog and she reached out to me on email and offered to make an introduction with the CEO of the company. How awesome is that? Anyway, she did that and we got on the phone and she was so nice and she was willing to meet up with me today and so I'm super, super excited. Again, it's a morning meeting. Usually I don't do morning meetings, but when you try to get to meet somebody that you really look up to, then you meet in the time that fits them in a location that fits them. So I'm heading there right now. Hope to get some valuable insights. So that was a really, really interesting meeting. First of all, Lior was so kind and, and honest and open with me with the feedback that she gave me um, for Prospero and also how her business is growing, how they came about doing some things. And so it was super, super valuable. But the main feedback that she gave me was pretty, I don't know if confusing, but she basically told me that we should really dramatically lower our prices. Currently we're charging $25 per month for Prospero and she said we should price it around $5 per month, which is dramatically lowering our price. Actually, I've been hearing this feedback from other people as well and our customers that they say that our product is a bit too expensive and they pay their kind of invoicing services somewhere around $5 to $10 per month and they get immense value and we handle only the proposal but we charge so much for it and so I've been hearing that a lot but I really feel like I don't know if it's rational or emotional it's really really hard for me to lower our prices and I don't know if I feel like it's kind of devaluing ourselves or kind of lowering our brand or I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm a freelancer and just the other day I shared with you how I want to raise my prices and I always try to bring more value and raise my prices because that's how I handle my freelance business. But when running an, an internet business, a SaaS company, I guess it depends on a lot of other factors such as your competitors in the market and the value that you know your customers get from other products and so it's a really really tough question especially since we've been we just redid last month's our pricing and we didn't have enough time to see how that works and so rechanging them again it's like i'm really not sure about this plus i know that i will be like ah, but we've been working on this for two months now you want to change it again so i know this will be hard but I think that the main point in you know going to meet Lior and, and you know accomplished people, believable people, people who you know are more successful than me, they, they are where I want to be next and so they have much more experience. If I go and get their feedback and I don't actually listen to them and implement the feedback, then why the hell am I going to try to get some feedback anyway? So I'm gonna have to think really, really hard as to if we implement this and how it's kind of really really confused me right now but I'm gonna give this a lot of thought anyway I'm heading home right now it's gonna be a, a very busy day I have a presentation tonight for the new client I take uh, I took so I need to show logo and some sketches for a website I have to do this all today it's gonna be intense Right, so let me give you a quick update about what's going on. Remember the other week I shared with you that I try to sell my clients on working with a great 3D artist because I want him to uh, do the visualization on the website that we're doing? So they said yes, but they weren't really sure about this. So I told them, let us let us um, present you some concepts and if you like them, we'll proceed. If you don't like them, there's not much risk. We're just going to pay him for the beginning of the work and we'll find a, figure out a, a different idea for you know making visuals for their website. Uh, and they said fine. And yesterday uh, he sent me the ideas and honestly, 
I didn't think they were great. Now, it's not his fault. We kind of discussed the concepts together and he did the concept that we uh, said would work. But when I actually saw them, I realized they wouldn't work great for the brand and I actually realized what it had to be. Um, so yesterday night while I was putting my son to sleep, I actually thought about different ideas. And since I'm presenting them tonight, I now worked super, super fast to build a presentation to showcase those ideas. And uh, I hope they'll like it. The uh, presentation's in a couple of hours. I hope it will work out fine. All right, so the meeting is over. I'm super tired. They actually did not uh, like or connect with the ideas that I showed them today. So we scheduled for next week and I'll bring up some more ideas and hope next time will be better. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow.